what is up everyone this is Goswe here from Serene Art so today I want to show you a quick way to design a simple 2022 calendar in Pizzle Lab. and at the end of this video I'm going to show you how to print it out just like my own right here okay so basically this tutorial is going to be in two parts part, part one I'm going to show you how to design the flyer and part two I'm going to show you how to print it out without any problem right so without much ado let's jump into it straight forward so the first thing that we have to do is to set the image size assuming we we have our interface like this like the default page then we have to delete this test and go ahead and set the image size for our work because we are going to print it out we need to set out the image so we are going to set the image size to be what 2480 by 3508 okay so that's the dimension that we are going to use so take note of it okay after this we are going to tap on ok and we are going to have it like this so what we are going to do right now is to change the background color to maybe zero to black yeah i think black will be okay so having put it black we have to import some you know images i've downloaded from the internet so i'm going to tap on the plus sign and take from gallery and I'll select one image which I downloaded uh, not long ago. Okay, so quickly, let me just locate the image and catch you up in the video, right? So I got my image right here. I'll just tap on a check mark and make sure I position or enlarge the image well to fit my screen, okay? I think this is okay so I just have to use the relative position tool to position it well after that I'll have to reduce the opacity to let's say 34 thereabouts so let me just put it at 34 and I think this is okay and I'll go ahead and lock this layer okay after that I can go ahead and import a shape okay and I'll have to increase the size of the shape a little bit and also I'll increase the radius of the shape to make it kind of curvy i hope that should be pretty cool right so you have to take time and play around with your shape right here okay so let me see the size of the shape and see uh how good it is okay i think it should just come down a little bit like this okay so let's use this and see how it's going to work right so i just put this one over there and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to import a shape again this shape i'm pushing it at the top and i'll reduce the size of it to let's say something like this or way smaller like this yeah this is cool right and i'll have to bring it down a little bit like this so after this probably if it's an organization that you are designing the calendar for you can just put the organization's name at the top so in this case i'm going to put my logo and the name serene Arts at the top so the first thing is for me to locate my logo so quickly let me pick it up let me do that quickly and catch you up shortly so i just pick the logo right here and i'm going to you know crop it this way and i have to reduce the size of it way small and push it at the top middle part of the work i think this is okay so i'm going to use the relative position tool and position it like this then use the position tool to bring it down just a little bit so that when it's being printed out i wouldn't have any part of it cut out okay so that is it the next thing for me to do is to enter the test serene art okay so let me do that quickly serene ads and i think i'm going to use the fonts like go bold bold so i capitalize it then let me locate the font quickly i'll tap on font go to recent and check through if i have the go bold bold over there correct it is here so all i have to do is to increase the size of it a little bit and see how best i can manipulate it okay so i'm putting it at the middle over here and I'm going to make a duplicate of it by tapping on copy and I'm going to change this one to 2022 calendar right good 
good so let me capitalize it as well then bring it down a bit like this okay so what i'm going to do right now is to bring the shape that we inserted should bring it down like this okay now after this we have to make copy of the serene ads after making copy of it we come to color and add a transparent color tree so that no color will be showing and after that we tap on a check mark and scroll down to stroke give it a stroke of one width and a color of white so we pick it like this we bring it on to it like this so this time around we are going to use the position tool to make sure we adjust it to fit perfectly right so this is why you need to take your time and fit fit this properly right so i think this is okay so we do the same thing to the 2022 calendar as well so we make a copy and after that we go to color give it the transparent color again tap on a check mark then scroll down to stroke enable the stroke give it a, a stroke width of one and a color of white then push it down and put it on the 2022 calendar like this right you you also have to make sure you use the position tool to make sure it fits perfectly right so i think this should be okay for us good this isn't bad at all right so all that we have to do now is to enter all that details but before we go ahead to do that uh i want us to push the test down a little bit so let's tap on a layer to right here so what we are going to do is to make sure we select this 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 and this after that we tap on this edit icon then tap for the move tool so we can move all the tests together i basically showed you how to do this in my other video where i talk about some tricks in fizzle app okay so i think this should be okay this should be fine now and we got to push this particular layer down a little bit that's the shape okay i think this is fine after this probably we have to enter the name and the social media handle so first of all i'm going to enter ytc ytcf and i hope by now you should know what ytcf stands for when it comes to the usage of social media icon font so this is the social media icon font so apparently you can see the y stands for youtube the t stands for twitter the c stands for instagram and the f stands for facebook obviously so we are going to bring it down reduce the size of it right we have to reduce the size of it way down down so we're going to push it down to the bottom of our work here and what we are going to do next is to probably make a copy of it then edit the test to serene ads assuming that is the the social media handle for the company that you are designing for so uh, quickly let me change the font for this one so i'll go with montserrat semi bold then i have to push it down to the to the bottom right so i'm going to use this particular tool right here and after that i'm going to use the position tool to position it nicely now we are almost done the next thing is to add the calendar now the calendar uh, you will agree with me that if you want to be doing it one by one you will really really have to you know spend a lot of time to do this so i got some calendar from uh, the internet and i'm going to import it right now i know how we do it already so i'm going to add it as a as a texture to this particular shape that we've put over here right so with the shape selected i'll tap on a hexagonal tool here then i'll go to texture I'll tap on this and go ahead to select the downloaded calendar right so let me pick it up quickly and I'm going to crop part of the calendar because I literally don't need it okay I only have to make use of the parts that I needed so I just crop it this way and I'll tap on a check mark right so this is how it has appeared over here we tap on enable maintain ratio and see how it's going to be so this is how the calendar is going to be take a look at it from january to december this is 2022 calendar right so basically this is how to design the calendar right here in puzzle app right so after this 
you just have to save your work right and you know when it comes to saving your work you always use the ultra to save for the sake of high quality right so we tap on save button save image then we select ultra and we save our work so basically basically that is the part one of this tutorial now the part two is how to print it out and let me talk to you a little bit about that quickly so you could see that at the beginning of the work we set this image size which is 2480 by 53508 basically this is a4 size right a4 sheet size now if you send your work to the printing press probably the my own the one that you are seeing on the screen right now it is a3 size okay it is a3 size but then i design it as a4 but when i send it to the printing press printing press for that matter the person operating the machine over there just size it okay the person just sized it to fit into what a3 size now the person like didn't do anything that would distort the shape or the the test and anything on the on the on the design right what the person just did is to select what we call the auto uh like scaling right auto scaling that will make it fit onto the paper exactly without any distortion so this part is not actually your part okay when you send it to the printing press the person working over there knows exactly what to do so that the design will come out neatly nevertheless you can still print on the a4 sheet like this without letting the person to do any other thing about the design okay you can print on the a4 sheet just like you've designed over here right and one thing i have to tell you is that whenever you are sending your work over the internet to someone for printing and probably you want to use whatsapp then you have to send it as a whatsapp document my design for instance i send it to the person through whatsapp and i sent it like a whatsapp document so when a person received it okay it came as a quality image because you know when you send an image via whatsapp this social media platform the quality of the image reduces so you don't want to send the the, the design as a normal image you have to send it what as a document right that's if you're not going to use gmail then you just have to send it as a document via whatsapp right so that's what when it's being printed out it will come out as a high quality work and you can also ask the person over there to kind of increase the contrast a little bit for your work and the printout will come out neatly just like my own okay my own i'm just going to hang it around in a room and be watching it from time to time right i i personally did this so that i'll just show it to you most of you also ask me if you can print your design that you've made with your mobile phone that's why i basically have to do this to show you that yeah you can print everything that you've done with your mobile phone provided you use the right dimension and you send it uh, in the right format to the printing press okay this is just it there's nothing more complicated about your smartphone graphic designing there's nothing that you need to worry about just design it save it as ultra that is the high quality uh, available in Pizzle Lab. so just save it as ultra and send it over for printing it's as simple as that guys so i hope you've learned something from this particular video and if you have any other question at all feel free and drop it in the comments below i'm here and i'll attend to that quickly right i just want you to get the best out of this smartphone graphic designing right my my mission here is to make sure what i empower people with the skills of smartphone graphic designing nothing more nothing less thank you so much and don't forget to like this video Click on the share button, share this video, and also subscribe to this channel in case you haven't subscribed yet, right? What would be the essence if you've been on this channel and you've not subscribed? Guys, come on, hit that subscribe button and turn on notification, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bless up.